Hello, welcome to DIY Machines, where in this episode, I'll show you how to print, assemble, and program your very own drone racing lap timer. It starts the timer automatically when you take off, and then when your drone returns, it reports how long that lap took you, and when you take off again, the timer starts. Let's go. First, print the main base assembly. You can print yours in any color you like. I've gone with black to look smart alongside the ultrasonic sensors. I'm going to use five colors of wire during this build. Black, green, red, yellow and blue. If you can lay your hands on the same five colors, you'll find following along a little bit easier. To start, you'll need to cut four lengths of wire as shown and then expose the ends. We'll be soldering these to the ultrasonic sensor, but they'll be running in the opposite direction than they usually would do. Solder the red wire to VCC, green to trig, yellow to echo, and finally the blue wire to ground. We can now glue the ultrasonic sensor in place using some hot melt glue. One dab in each of the corners is all that's needed for this. Whilst the glue gun is hot, we'll glue in the battery holder as well. Now we need five wires, each 19 centimeters long. One end of each wire wants to be stripped a little bit longer so that we can push this directly into the Arduino's headers and save ourselves some soldering. We'll be attaching these wires to the rear side of the seven segment display. They'll go onto the unlabeled pins. Once you're finished, it should look like this. Attach the shield for the display with some hot melt glue. Don't put too much here, otherwise when you push it up against the main base, you'll have a little bit ooze out. Add some glue to each of the corners of the display and then pop it into place from behind. Make sure that when you glue it in, when you look at it from the front, the decimal places are at the bottom of the display. Now we're soldered together the green LEDs for the base station. This is how we want to solder our LEDs, resistors and the green wires we cut earlier together. You'll find a link to circuit diagrams in the description below. Pay attention that the longer leg of the LED is attached to the positive side of the circuit and the shorter leg to the negative side. Now we can glue the green LEDs into position on the base. Take the shortest of the two and make sure the resistor end of the wire is closest to the seven segment display. You want to push the LED through the hole so it pops out through the other end. Move along, skip one hole and then push the LED through the next one along. You can then add some hot melt glue to hold these in place. Now we'll do the same with the other wire. Ensure the resistor is nearest the seven segment display and then insert the green LED in the first hole running around in the other direction. Skip the next hole again and push the LED through the second hole and then feed the wire around the rest of the circuit. I'd like to take a minute to thank my new sponsor, Electromaker, and my patrons who help make this channel possible. A special thanks goes to my latest Patreon subscriber, Graham Peak. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. Let's carry on. Now we'll start work on the red LEDs. You need to cut another set of wires as shown here, and then we're gonna assemble it like this. Again. If you prefer a circuit diagram, you can pause the video in a second, 
where you'll find a link to the diagram in the description below. We'll start with the strip with a single LED. As with the green LEDs, the end of the resistor wants to be towards the display. Push this through and add some hot melt glue. Now the strip with two LEDs is used to plug the last two remaining holes. Now we can print the base for the landing pad and we'll attach this with several magnets. Use a hot melt glue gun to attach the magnets to their little location spots on the base. Once you've done this, add three more magnets on top of the three that you just fixed to the base. Then, use a black marker to mark a dot on each of the magnets. This is how we'll remember which way to glue them into the base. Remove them, but keep them organised in the same orientation as they were attached to the base. Now we can add them back in. This top one can go into this spot with the black dot facing downward. Now the remaining two need to swap sides. So this bottom one will go up to this top hole and then the top one will come down to the bottom hole, again with the black dot facing downwards. And now we'll take a small length of wire and use this to connect together all of the negative terminals from the LED wires. We'll then be able to connect all four of these to the same ground terminal on the Arduino. Connect your Arduino Uno to your computer and open the Arduino IDE. You'll find a link down in the description below where you can copy the code required to run this program. Once the IDE is opened, you can replace all of the text with the code that you've just copied and then upload it straight to your Arduino. Once the code is uploaded, you can disconnect your Arduino and we can then begin to connect the various electronic components. We'll start by connecting the ultrasonic sensor first. The blue wire connects to the ground, the yellow wire is connected to pin number 8, the green wire is connected to pin number 9, and we'll come back to the red wire a little bit later. The blue wire that we soldered to all of the negative terminals of the LED wants to be connected to another ground point on the Arduino. Next up we'll connect the display. Gather the wires and persuade them into the channel so they're a little bit easier to handle. We'll connect the black wire to pin number 13, the green wire from DIN to pin number 11, the yellow wire from the CS to pin number 10, the blue wire will go to the last remaining ground connection. Now we'll use another short length of wire to join together the two VCC connections from the ultrasonic sensor and the display. Now if you've used the same colour wires as me, these will be the two red wires coming from each of these components. We have to join them together as we only have one 5 volt output on the Arduino. Now we'll print the final piece of trim to sit on top. This helps to decorate the item, make it easier to see, but also makes it a little bit easier to land your drone on the pad. Once you've printed it, you can attach it with some hot melt glue. And it's finished. Add some AA batteries and go out and take it for a spin. Thanks for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel down below. Otherwise, until next time, ciao for now.